Hey guys, I'm Chris with Avahi Design and welcome back to the Avahi channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a one line header. This tutorial is specifically meant for storefront. However, you can use this skill on other themes and make sure that you're using a child theme. I have a video that I'll link up somewhere around here where I go over how to make a child theme and it's super important for this type of thing that you're using a child theme. Otherwise, all the work that you're doing could be overwritten whenever the developer updates their theme. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop in. Once you log in, we're gonna go ahead and go to the home page and click customize. There's some backend things that we need to kind of do first before we can get to the code portion. This first thing that we gotta do is change the logo. So we need to go ahead and upload our logo. Um, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use the circle logo and we're gonna go ahead and do a PNG so that no matter what our background is, it doesn't uh, have like a white box around it or anything. It's completely transparent. And then once you change that logo, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and just set it as our site icon. From there, we're gonna go to the dashboard and create all of the different pages that we need. Uh, first, we're gonna go ahead and delete the pages that we don't need, which is the privacy policy and the sample page. And then we're gonna add a whole bunch of pages. So we're gonna do home, about, events, tipsy cow, flavors, and I think that was the last one. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to our menu and we're gonna create a new menu. Uh, you can name it whatever you wanna do, just make sure that you understand what it is. And then set the display location for the primary and the handheld. Go ahead and add all the different pages to your menu. Uh, don't forget to add the shop page. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and add the shop page and then because the design calls for it, I'm gonna change the navigation label to order now. You could also create a custom link if you wanted to, but in this case, it's totally fine to just use that. And then you wanna set them up in the right location, make sure that everything's organized the way you want it. And then we are going to edit all the pages and apply a full width template. And that'll make sure that all the pages have the exact same template and we're not running into any issues because of that. And then we also, the last thing we gotta do on the back end is set the home page as our home. Now that we've done all that, let's go ahead and take a look at the design. Uh, so we're just focusing on that first line, which is the logo and the different menu items. And we want it to be a one line header. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our PHP function page. Uh, it's functions.php. So right now I'm copying in some code. Uh, this does a few different things. This is gonna allow us to change our header structure. What we're doing is all of these different actions right here have a add action or a remove action, and then they have a priority number. So we need to remove a bunch of actions and then add them back in, in the correct priority so that we end up with a header that has one container around everything. And then the only thing we really need is the skip links, site branding, and primary navigation. Everything else we can get rid of. So we're going to go ahead and click, uh, we're going to go ahead and change the add action to remove action for everything extra. And then that header container close, we went ahead and added it back in at the bottom with a priority of 69 so that it was the last priority. And now if you look at the website, you'll see that nothing's really changed as far as what we can see. But if you go into the page masthead, column full is all the way around every single piece of our item. And whenever you open it up, there's no primary navigation wrapper in there. There's only one wrapper. Once we've done that, we need to go ahead and do some CSS code. So first we're gonna remove the cart because we don't really need the cart and then right now I'm gonna go ahead and copy in a bunch of different code and I'll break it down for you line by line. So we're gonna update that file and this first line of code is just making the column max width. So I wanna make sure that it's 100%. The second part is taking the main navigation and moving it to the right, setting its width to auto, putting it as an inline block and then giving it a little bit of margin so that it's not all the way up against the uh, edge of the frame. And then this next section is again, setting it to width auto, putting a little bit of margin so that it's not up against the edge of the frame and display inline block. So that right there will allow everything to be on one line with the logo on the left and the menu on the right. Uh, the logo is still a little bit too big. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our CSS and I'm gonna copy in another line of code. 
and we're going to set the max width to 150 pixels. And let's just go take a look and make sure that's the right size now. Perfect. That's going to be exactly the right size. The last thing that we have to do for this is we need to go ahead and add another line of CSS. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of the margin at the bottom of the header. And then we also need to get rid of the border bottom on the header. Right now you can see there's a really thin line. But we're going to go ahead and set that color to FFFFF00. Six Fs and then two zeros. And the reason why we do that is because with hex codes, the last two numbers are the alpha code. And so that'll set it to transparent. And you'll see that now the border is missing, the margin is gone, and we have a one line header. If you enjoyed this WordPress tutorial, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.